guys, hope you are all well. So welcome to Vlogmas. I'm so excited about this. I've um, I've wanted to do Vlogmas for a number of years now. I absolutely love watching other people's Vlogmases and I love watching vlog channels in general. So I'm super excited to have a go at Vlogmas myself this year. So a uh, little life update. Um, I've... Um, Oh my goodness, I'm just about to start filming my, well I'm going to get ready to start filming my lemon video which should have been uploaded on Tuesday and the 1st of December and I've got some gorgeous brand new lemon products, I've been using them for a good four or five days now, I absolutely love them and yeah I'm going to make a video about those and uh, I need to get ready of course, I've got no makeup on, I've just got just had a shower with the lemon range and I've popped on my um, body shop at home apparel and yeah I'm gonna do my makeup and start filming but um, yeah basically these last few weeks so the last video that was up on my channel was about the autumnal eye look and I filmed that look sorry I'm still getting breathless now I filmed that look on the Monday um the Monday after Friday the 13th after I've been in A&E I filmed that video and after that day I went so downhill I was literally on steroid tablets I been using my inhaler loads and now I just found out today as well that I am anemic so this is a good two weeks after filming that that I've now just been given iron tablets as well and so I've got anemia more antibiotics for a chest infection and my asthma on top of all this so I was really I normally have filmed this video not this particular one because this is vlogmas but I normally have filmed my lemon video last week but literally just putting cutlery in the dishwasher having a shower or just literally getting up from the sofa to make a cup of tea just has left me absolutely breathless so I really struggled last week I oh my goodness I, I I even ended up crying on the school run because I'd literally been so poorly I barely made it across the road like literally been that ridiculous it's so it seems ridiculous so I barely made it on the school run broke down in front of the teachers explaining why Freddie hadn't done his homework and yeah so now we are on the Monday before YouTube Tuesday so before the 11 video comes out tomorrow this is a Monday like I said normally have everything filmed last week but yeah I've just been rather unwell and breathless so I'm just super happy to be behind the camera again chatting with you guys so I'm gonna gather all my lemon products and do my makeup and then, yeah, I'll, I'll shoot the lemon video and then I'll catch up with you guys once I've shot the lemon video as well. well you can see but I've literally just used some really pale colours on my eyes this morning I really feel like a lemon sherbet queen I absolutely love it so I popped on this colour on the inner crease and then I popped this con this colour on in the corner with my ring finger and then I popped some of this one over this side of the eye colour which had a little bit of this on and then I've just used this one here on the brow bone but it's really subtle it's really delicate and I really think it's lovely for the lemon theme today I really like it but because I am still a little bit pale I'm going to pop on some coconut bronze glistening glow powder and I'm literally just going to sweep this all across doing a three because 
I just really need a little bit of healthy glow to the skin. So this is the one that's like in two halves. So I'm just growing my fluffy powder brush and I'm just going to sweep it round in a three. Just to give myself a bit of warmth, a bit of healthy glow. Oh, just look at that shine. I absolutely love it. It's the most natural kind of bronze and shimmer that the Body Shot I've ever done. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's ever so subtle. It's just so, so beautiful for all skin tones. I absolutely love it. It just gives that real kind of warmth and healthy glow. My baby hairs always get in the way of doing my bronzer and any face powders, but we know I only like to bronze, highlight and blush because otherwise I look ancient if I pop on any powder. So I'll just pop some down the nose as well. I really, really like that. It's just such a gorgeous kind of effortless glow. Like the power of makeup, like literally it's only a really natural look today, but I really do feel like it's made me look so much better already. And it's making me feel a little bit better as well. So yeah, I just love makeup. So I'm going to pop on my favourite shimmer waves as well today. So I've got the O2 blush, which I absolutely love. And apologies, I don't know why I just popped it on my forehead then. <laughs> but I'm just going to use the camera screen to quickly pop a bit of that on. I'll check it in the mirror. I don't know why I went up to my forehead. Like, I literally never do that with blush. But yes doesn't look too bad just brush any off like literally why did I put any on my forehead there we go I think I look a little bit more healthy right now so I think I'm gonna go for this really nice matte lip liquid and pop some of this on my lip Oh, I just love this colour. Not bothering with a lip liner today. I have actually got a really nice lemon sherbet um, lip 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 liquid that i could use if i can find it it's absolutely beautiful it's pretty much this color but in a lip gloss so i couldn't find mine this is freya's so i'm gonna play it with my finger this is the lemon sherbet sh shine li liquid and it's absolutely gorgeous it's got argan and jojoba is it jojoba oil and marula oil in as well so it's got some gorgeous oils in i love the packaging on this it's really kind of like holographic but you can see at the bottom it looks very yellow but it's just absolutely beautiful so i would normally pop that on using the spoolie but because it's freya's and got a little bit of a sore lip at the moment I'm literally just going to pop some on the back of my hand and then place some oh it's just so shimmery and gorgeous place some on the lip oh it just gives it such a shine it goes really well with the kind of lonely look on top of the eyelids There we go. Let's have a little look in the mirror as well. Oh, that is so, so pretty. I love the shine li liquids because they just have tiny little glitter particles in. But they really do shine. Look at how shiny and gorgeous that little bit of excess on the back of my hand is. So they just give a really nice kind of subtle shimmer and a really nice kind of gloss to the lips. So 
yeah I am uh, really liking the look I just need to apply some mascara because sometimes I always forget to apply apply mascara there you go darling so today I think I'm just going to bob on some happy girl lash mascara this one is quite old so if it looks horrendous I might have to open my new one oh no that's perfectly fine so it's a really nice lightweight daytime mascara I think it looks really elegant when you have more of a natural makeup look and it's got gorgeous coconut oil in so it's really nourishing for the lashes it's not a waterproof mascara but I've not had any issues with it when I've been out in the rain or anything but that is just me personally like I say it's not waterproof so if you were to go swimming or something then I'm sure you would end up looking like a panda but uh, yeah I don't think I've ever been swimming with mascara on I just think that is absolutely delicate and gorgeous like I say this has been open for quite a number of months now you are supposedly as a rule of thumb meant to change your mascara every couple of months just to keep the it healthy so it's not got any bacteria in and such but yeah I, I like my money to go far when it comes to mascara I can't really even as a body shop at home consultant I don't want to be purchasing a mascara every month or couple of months so I do make my mascaras last until they look horribly clumpy that is the happy go lash mascara so that is that one there so i normally use the super volume mascara in all of my videos quite well all of my recent videos anyway and yeah that is the happy go lash a bit more natural a bit more subtle a bit more just really nice a day look so I better get tidying up all this makeup and then get the filming set up ready because at the moment the daylight is literally there's not much of it so I have to have my ring lights I've bought some other lights as well that go either side so I'll be setting those up and then I can get ready and film the lemon video <laughs> I'm just going to bob on my rose dewy glow as well it's like a makeup setter but it also just gives a really nice glow bring back some health to my face but oh, it just smells absolutely gorgeous so i'm gonna get my hair ready look at that shine that is from the lemon shampoo so disclaimer i had not washed my hair in nearly two weeks or two weeks because i've been so poorly like i say i had no energy even like getting a shower or like just getting up off the sofa to get a drink was just left me really breathless so i did not wash my hair for a couple of weeks and then not yesterday but the day before I did wash my hair with the lemon shampoo and body wash and oh my goodness I absolutely love it I'll link down the lemon video that I'm just about to record down below but yeah I was really happy with it because I didn't think I would ever like a a product which is for hair and body I've always been a you wash your body with body wash and you shampoo your hair with shampoo but I was thoroughly impressed with it it left it so silky and smooth and really shiny and gorgeous so this is my hair after what did I do on Saturday Sunday it's now Monday so that is my hair just had it up in a bun and look at the shine on it I haven't even put any serum on it as yet so yeah how I'm just really impressed with it my grey is not looking too bad either I'm not dyed them yet or anything but they are yeah just it still smell lemony 
I can, it still smells really nice. Like the hair does still smell nice. It still smelled really lemony yesterday. It just smells nice and clean and fresh. But yeah, I, just, I was gonna put a little bit of serum on my hair before I started recording, but I don't actually know that I need to. No, I think I'm not going to bother. But yeah, I'm just so happy with the lemon shampoo. I'll have to vlog me using the products that I talk about all the time as well. I think that'd be really helpful for you guys to see in day-to-day -day life, me kind of using the products and what results I get from them. But yeah, that is the lemon hair on body wash. So yeah, I'm just really impressed with that. So I'm gonna get all my, so I'm gonna get all my equipment set up now. So I'm gonna pop you guys in the corner of the room while I get set up. So guys, we are pretty much set up and ready to start filming. So I've got my two soft boxes up and my giant ring light. When I ordered this ring light, I didn't know quite how big it was going to be. I didn't expect it to be that big. It's huge, but it works. It does the job. It's got all different settings. So I can have it as warm or as cold as I want with the lighting. And it's just really handy because I can move it up and down. And I'll show you what I was filming on before. Like, oh my goodness. So if you are a YouTuber, you don't have to go to all these extremes for the lighting. But because I do a lot of lives in a Facebook group and I also do training with the region, I just thought I really needed to get some better lighting and more maneuverability with the lighting as well. This little gem is what I used to use. Oh my goodness, it's so, so tiny. So this will clip onto my window, on the window handle where you open the window. And then I pop my phone into this compartment. And then that little thing there was my ring light. And it was perfectly adequate, but I just really wanted to up my game with the winter months coming in. We've had some days where we've not even had any sunlight. It's literally looked like dusk all day. Some days when I've been filming, so I thought I just really need to up my game with some more lighting. And I was just gonna originally get the soft boxes. And then I decided that I really could do with a ring light as well. Not knowing quite how big it is, but it has come really, really handy. So I'm just going to go into the bathroom and grab the rest of the lemon bits as well. So I have to excuse the mess of the bathroom. I've not been able to clean it for a couple of weeks. So I really do need to get on and clean the bathroom. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be feeling up to it. I've got my wetsuit up there. I've got everyone's wetsuits. Like we've not been anywhere, but our wetsuits were a little bit kind of damp so we've just cleaned them up in some hot water if anyone's got any suggestions of how to professionally clean a wetsuit i'd love to know um so we just put these in hot water because i don't think you can put them in washing machines so they are just drying up there but of course that one's all wet and steamy under there so i've got all my lemon products here so i've been using the lemon face wash which i absolutely love so this is the purifying lemon face wash. It helps to wash away bacteria and impurities. So I absolutely love it. It's really refreshing and cooling and I've got dry sensitive skin and I've been absolutely fine with it. I was kind of concerned that it might be a little bit stripping being lemon, but I found it absolutely fine. So I received this kind of mid to back end of last week. So I've been using it for a good four or five days absolutely love it. I find it just as good as the tea tree face wash, which I've been using because I had a little bit, a few little spots around here from wearing my mask. And 
because of my asthma I've had to wear the mask on the school run and everything because I've not the cold air has really hurt my chest so I've been covered up with scarves masks and because I'm wearing them a lot more I've noticed just a few little blemishes but it's kept my skin clear ever since and then here we have got the lemon purifying hair and body wash so I've used this in the shower this morning like I say I washed my hair with it on Saturday and yeah really impressed because like I say I would not normally ever use something on my body that I could use on my hair as well I'd always keep them separate because in my mind it just I feel like there would be better products if they were separate so I am very impressed with it. It smells absolutely gorgeous. So that link down the video down below that I'm just about to film because I'll go into a lot more depth about the products, what's in them, why they were made and such. So um, I'll go into a lot more depth in the video that I'm going to film. But yeah, I am really impressed. I think this would be fantastic for swimming bags and gym bags because I always used to take a child's farm um, shampoo and body wash for me and the kids when we went swimming and that is the only time which I've ever used like a shampoo and a body wash all in one but yeah I think I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy using this in the bath and shower like literally I absolutely love it and I wasn't expecting I was expecting to love it as a shower gel um and maybe in the bath as a bubble bath but I wasn't expecting to love it so much as a shampoo because I thought it's lemon, it might be a bit stripping, it might be a bit drying, but it's actually left it really silky and soft instead. And yeah, it's left the hair shiny and it's my only first time using it on Saturday. So I need to use it a few weeks in a row to really kind of gauge how much I love it. But so far, I absolutely love it. So I'll leave the video linked down below and you can see all about the brand new lemon products, which are all vegan. So there's lots more in this range. So yeah, watch the video if you want to know more. So I'm pretty much set up now. So I'm going to pop the camera in the ring light and get filming. So I'll catch up with you guys once I've finished recording. So I just finished filming the lemon video and I'm just going to make myself a cup of tea and because I've left it so short notice for filming, I'm going to get on with editing as well. So I think I'm going to have a chai latte. I absolutely love spiced teas. So this is just Tesco's finest one, which I absolutely love. I also really like the coconut one from Tea India, I believe it's called. But for today, oh, it's just really nice afternoon pick me up which is really cozy for the winter month and I'm just gonna have a nice cup of chai tea whilst I edit my 11 video to edit the lemon video i hope i got enough information in there whenever i film my videos i always feel like i say bits in different parts because i'll talk about one of the products and then i'll realize that i missed something out so i'll start talking about that product later on in the video so i always have to piece it together sometimes but sometimes we really have to piece the video together so it like makes sense so there is quite a bit of editing involved in factual videos when I'm talking about products and stuff and because I want to have the precise product and knowledge in there for you guys so I get it all right I don't ever want to miss anything out I always have links to the products in my descriptions as well but I always manage to forget to tell you guys that most of the time that the products are linked in the description and I we weren't always allowed to talk about prices so I could have actually said the prices of the lemon products 
but I forgot to do so because for ever since I started the body shop we were never allowed to talk about prices of products apart from in our closed group so now I need to remember to put prices on the products if you guys would like me to tell you the prices of the products then let me know down below in the comments because yeah that's just something I've always left out because it was always the body shop way before in the past um things have changed now but yeah let me know if you want to hear about prices or if you'd just rather click on the links and see the prices for yourself so I'm gonna enjoy this cup of tea oh it's so nice I always go through phases of tea and coffee so Sometimes I can't drink tea because I just really don't fancy it. It makes me feel a bit nausea. And other times I literally drink tea non-stop. And for the last few weeks, I've been on a drinking tea mission and I'm really enjoying my chai tea in the afternoons. Now, I'd normally get a Christmas biscuit. My goodness. If you have come across the McVitie's Chocolate Christmas Digestives, they are the best biscuits ever at the minute in my opinion we love it, a good chocolate digestive in this house but the christmas ones are just something else they are so special now i wish i had a christmas biscuit to go with this cup of tea but i don't so i did grab a packet of crisps just because i am feeling a bit peckish i need to get a lot of editing done before i get on with making tea so i did grab a packet of crisps just to keep me going but yeah I much prefer to dunk a biscuit into this gorgeous tea so guys I've still got a bit of editing to do on this but I really need to go feed the kids now so I've made a start on it I've already cut out a good 10 minutes of it, it was 40 minutes long and well it was over 40 minutes long it's now 34 minutes long still got a lot of editing to do I do jump around I started talking about the lemon face wash went on to another product remembered loads of things I forgot to say about lemon face wash so I got to move it all around pop all the pieces together make it look decent for you guys to watch tomorrow so by the time this vlog is uploaded you will have already seen the lemon video if you watch my body shop videos so I'm going to keep doing body shop on a Tuesday and then I'm going to do vlogmas in and around um just videos whenever I get the chance to vlog I'll pop videos up so make sure that you do click an all notification so you know when I have posted a vlog because it could be every day it could be really random so yeah I'm having lots of fun with it so far I absolutely love editing but I think because I'm still not 100% um I've just actually spoken to the doctors as well and I was supposed to get prescribed some antibiotics this morning and the doctor forgot to prescribe them and send them to the pharmacy so I'm just waiting for that to get sorted out but it's now quarter to five so I can't really see them getting over to the pharmacist on time for me to get them today so it might be tomorrow that I have to start another course of antibiotics but yeah I'm um yeah we'll see how vlogmas goes because of course I'm not 100% and I'm just going to be picking up the camera when I feel I've got something interesting to show you and when I am kind of feeling well enough to do so. So I'm going to, I've let the lights cool down, ignore the ultimate mess. I have to move everything around just to make room to film. I don't want a messy background for you guys and I don't have enough wardrobe space. Like I've got all these wardrobes but I still don't seem to have enough wardrobe and drawer space for all of my clothes so I have got a pile of new clothes which I do need to find a home for and then of course I've got all my body shop goodies over there as well sitting pretty all the advent calendars my little Christmassy display so yeah it's not the typical it's not a typical bedroom my bedroom there is a lot of work stuff in here I would absolutely love an office one day where I can keep the lights up permanently at the moment I've got to pack them away each time which is perfectly fine because I've got a really nice kind of bag that I keep them in but I could really do with an office where I could have the lights set up I could have all the body shop products and yeah just a really nice filming space um yes filming in the bedroom isn't the best thing but I don't mind it it's just how it is with this channel 
Um, the bedroom's probably the most tidiest room in the house all of the time. Of course, I've got two kids, so we've got a playroom that's constantly messy. The living room gets covered in toys as well. And yeah, I just, I try to, like everybody, try to keep the house nice and tidy and clean. But family life, it doesn't happen that way. So I like to keep this room nice and tidy to be able to have a peace of mind while sleeping so it's good for the body mind and soul having tidy space and then it's nice and tidy for when i can film so i'm gonna leave the vlog here for now i might be back later and tidy where the lights and stuff with you guys uh, but for now, I'm going to spend a little bit of time with the kids and make them some tea as well because I think we're all getting a bit hungry now seeing as it is quarter to five. So I'll either be back later or I'll say goodbye. So I'm either going now or I'll see you guys in a bit. So I've got in my cosy, comfy pyjamas and now, well, it's basically just a hoodie and some tracksuit buttons but to me that is pajamas it's what is comfy so i've just been called upon for some white chocolate coins so i might even have the odd one myself as well with my gorgeous cup of tea find the chocolate coins where did we put the chocolate coins i thought they were in here i put them in there they are they're in the fruit basket look <gasps> white chocolate oh, coins oh my goodness i absolutely no, love we're like sharing the cake. we need the cake as well do we, we need yeah we're sharing it should we share the cake yeah. right yeah. should we share the chocolate bar too let's sort put it the cake put it into birds put it into birds because there's three of us there are actually five of us yeah there's three <laughs> of daddy and i want some mm, he's not here Probably save some for daddy. Maybe. Yeah. Well, then we get less friends. Oh, we have to share some for daddy. So I come back upstairs with my little plate of treats that Freddie wanted to get for everyone. So I've got my little Christmas cake and it's absolutely gorgeous. So it's from Aldi, a little individual cake, which I think is so cute. Got this gorgeous Christmas chocolate bar. I love milk and white chocolate. So I think that's really cool and Christmassy. And then who doesn't love chocolate coins? And I absolutely love white chocolate. I love all chocolate, in all honesty. So it's gonna be a nice little treat. While I finish off editing, if I don't get everything done tonight, then I will break off and I'm gonna have a little game of Fortnite with Freya because I've never been a gamer and literally in lockdown, I got hooked on um, Among Us. Absolutely love Among Us. You'll, you, if you watch my channel, you will have seen I used the James Charles palette and did a whole Among Us scene on my face. I had so much fun with it, but I'm absolutely loving Among Us. So I got hooked on Among Us and I've not played, not played games on a computer since I was a teenager and never played games on my phone. I used to play that Facebook game. Was it the farming Facebook game? I think it was, it was 10 years ago, this farming Facebook game. So I was playing it when I couldn't sleep when I was pregnant with Freya. So I was very poorly when I was pregnant with Freya and I had to give up work early and I literally, my body clock was crazy. And I think because Johnny worked nights sometimes at the airport, um, I couldn't really sleep when he was working nights. So I'd be up farming at three o'clock in the morning on Facebook and I'd do his farm as well. Like, oh my goodness. And that is kind of like the last time I ever played games. So I've got really hooked on Fortnite and I can't believe it. So Freya only just got Fortnite. I think she's wanted it for a while, but she never really asked for it. And because it's one of those games that are, it's kind of like online. There was always quite a stigma about it, I think, with letting your children play on it and such. So Freya always just did Minecraft at home and kind of like safe offline games. And then because she is 10 now, we let her play on Fortnite and it's, it's, so far it's been really safe she's got the chat off and everything so no one's talking to her but I've been playing with it as well because 
And oh my, I just got absolutely hooked on it. I absolutely love it. This channel could yet become a gaming channel, couldn't it? Oh my God, could you imagine? We've got beauty, we've got unboxings, we've got vlogs going on and then gaming as well. Like, oh my goodness, could literally just be a one trick pony with this channel. But my goodness, I'm just having the best fun of Fortnite and I never ever thought I would. I'd not seen the game before. I just known all Freya's friends have played it for quite a few years since they were about seven. We've just got it now and I'm absolutely hooked on it. Um, yeah, I'm going to end up buying my own little, um, my own little character because it's a free game for those of you who don't know all about gaming. It is a free game which you can get on the PC and like the Xbox and the PlayStation. And then you can buy like your characters, you can buy like their costumes and stuff and, you know, like different things for your inventory. <laughs> I'm so not a gamer, you can totally tell, can't you? So, yeah, I might end up buying my own little um, outfit so I can look a little bit cooler when playing Fortnite. So I'm going to enjoy my little plate of treats. I'm going to finish editing or at least do another, see what time it is now. It's quarter to six, so I think if I do till half past six, then I'm done regardless. Hopefully I'll have it finished. Hopefully I'll have it ready and uploaded. The thing with me is I will have it finished and then I've got to watch it through a couple of times just to make sure I'm actually happy with it. don't know whether it's a new YouTuber thing. Like I only started my channel in February so I am kind of still getting used to it all. Still trying to kind of perfect everything even though I don't want everything to be too perfect because realism is realism you know what I mean I want to be real with you guys so I don't want it to be too perfectly polished but I do always watch it through it a couple of times just to make sure I haven't said anything wrong haven't given you any bits of wrong information I would hate to give wrong information and such so I do tend to edit it re-edit it re-edit it again and then watch it back about three or four times before actually posting as well so I'm going to crack on now till at least half past six break up play a couple of games of Fortnite. Hopefully Johnny will be home by about seven or eight o'clock. Have a little bit of family time, catch up on the jungle. Now the jungle, we have not watched the jungle since. I think it was Thursday. Yeah, because we watched Mariah Elizabeth, who is a art YouTuber. We absolutely love her channel. So every Friday night we um, watch Mariah Elizabeth and my goodness, this Friday, we spent a good couple of hundred pounds on Mariah Elizabeth merch for Christmas for Freya and Freddie. They absolutely love it so much and all her gorgeous plushies and onesies and everything. So Mariah Elizabeth, we have spent a lot of money on your merch. So yeah, we always break off and watch Mariah Elizabeth on a Friday. So we missed the jungle and then we had like film night and stuff. So we have missed all of the jungle since Thursday so I don't know who's been kicked out yet we've got so much to catch up on so I'm gonna get on with this play Fortnite and watch the jungle so oh my god guys it's now like 10 to 7 in the evening and I've normally done my skincare routine by now but I finally finished I believe I've finished editing my lemon video for tomorrow however I'm gonna leave it now because I'm absolutely exhausted really breathless as well I'm starting to feel really really poorly again as it's come to the evening time and I've spoken to the doctors who, basically the doctor forgot to prescribe me my antibiotics this morning. So I had to speak to another doctor to make sure with my allergies that I was able to take them. Um, but it also means that the pharmacy is now closed. So I won't be able to start my course of antibiotics until tomorrow. So I am starting to feel rather unwell again, as we, we always kind of do in the evenings when we're poorly, don't we? So 
I'm breaking off from work now. I feel confident that my video will be fine for tomorrow. However, <clears throat> oh my goodness, watching it back, I'm like, I really do look quite ill in it. Um, my goodness, I just look not with it. Um, yeah, you can just tell I'm poorly in it, but I'm just, I'm just happy that I haven't let a week go by when not being able to upload and this is a brand new product so I really want to be able to tell you guys all about it but however our health comes first so in all honesty had I been far too poorly to make that video I would have taken a week off. I'd love to be able to have a video for you guys every single Tuesday but if I am ever, ever far too poorly for it, I will let you know, guys know on social media. There's a part on um, YouTube as well, which actually is like a community tab. I've never used it before because I don't really know how to use it. I know YouTubers that have got about 10,000 followers can do little stories and stuff. So like if I had, if I had a big following, I'd be able to do a story and literally explain why I wouldn't be doing a video. But I think in the community tab, I can pop in um, some writing at least and say like, guys, I'm too poorly this week or what's going on. So I might even start using the community tab to kind of to talk to you guys anyway on a weekly basis. So we'll see. I've not yet worked it out, but we will see how it goes. But I could, is that daddy home? So daddy's just got home. <laughs> He's just got home from work. I'm just doing my YouTube video, sweetheart. Are you okay? okay? Yeah, I put this in your room. It's lit. Oh, okay, yeah. So Freya's just got a letter because we've both got this thing where if you've had been poly for quite a while, so we were poly in September and kind of like the chest wall has kind of got aggravated and all the cartilage. So the doctor printed out a letter. There's something that me and Freya both have so she, Johnny's printed out, I sent it to Johnny and he's printed out at work so we get to read all about it now. But it's basically the chest wall. We all relax our chest walls like when we're just breathing naturally and because we've kind of been unwell for quite a while since September, it just gets a little bit damaged. So we've, uh, both me and Freya have got like this tightness and soreness from that. And then I've got a chest infection, asthma and, I was gonna say amnesia. <laughs> Because I forgot what I was going to say, but anemia as well. So I'm anemic as well. So I've got iron tablets. So I've got a few things going on. I'm hoping for Freya that that is all she has going on is just the chest wall thing. But oh, yeah, it's it's hard, isn't it, when you don't feel well, especially with COVID going around. But we have been tested. It is literally just chest wall I think and for me chest infection anemia and asthma on top of it which doesn't help but guys I've come into the bathroom to finally do my evening skincare routine so I'm gonna use because I put light makeup on today I'm not just gonna go in and use the lemon straight away I really want to get a really nice um makeup remover on there first so I'm gonna use the silky Camomile Silky Cleansing Oil, which I absolutely love. So I'm just getting like one pump, one, one and a little bit of a pump. And I'm literally just gonna massage it all into the face. And I've not got much mascara on, so it should easily lift away, but it just feels so nice to use. I'm kind of using the camera screen and the mirror as well to see what I'm doing. So. I didn't put much makeup on today at all, but I just wanted to look a little bit more healthy and my phone is running out of batteries. That's the only thing because I am filming on my phone. I mean, cameras run out of batteries, but you generally have a second um, spare battery pack. Everyone who vlogs on a camera. So if this cuts out, I'm very sorry. <laughs> um, I might have to start carrying it around or when I'm not filming. I think all the time when I'm not filming, I will just have to pop on the phone on charge, won't I? So I'm just, I wouldn't normally rinse my hands, but I don't know why I just did that then. But yeah, I'm gonna grab my flannel. So I just use any face cloth. This is actually just an Ikea one. 
So it's really reasonably in price, but the Body Shop does do a special Carmel cleansing balm cloth, or there's like a muslin cloth as well, which you can use, which you can get from anywhere, but the Body Shop does their own one as well. But I just love using these flannels. So I've got a load of these flannels for doing parties because they're nice and dark. And I've got a load of them just for home personal use as well. And I just use them as my face cleansing flannel. So I will use a clean one for doing this. And then I will use a clean dry one as a towel afterwards. But yeah, it just feels so nice. And it's nice at the end of the day to get a make pot. So now I've done that first cleanse, it's not always easy filming in the bathroom. <laughs> the least I've got my really nice light that you saw earlier I can send you on. So guys, you can see me using the Lemon Purifying Face Wash. So this is what I've been talking about in the video that I made today. This will be out on the 1st of December. The product will be out on the 1st of December. We've already had it at the body shop at home for the majority of the week now. So I've been using it for quite a few days. I absolutely love it. So it's made for, it's made in mind of just being really clean. Like 2020 has been the year of needing hand sanitizers extra washing of the hands and it's just a purifying product which really does give really nice purification and a really good clean so it just lather it up and wash the face oh it just smells amazing so i'll talk in depth in the lemon video about this but it smells like fresh lemon juice it's just absolutely beautiful. Now, I absolutely love lemons. It's really gentle on the skin as well. Now, I've got dry, sensitive skin, but I find that it's absolutely lovely. It's very kind of soothing because it's got aloe vera in it, but it's also really refreshing because of the lemon. Now, on an evening skincare routine, I might not always use a lemon product, but I do normally do my evening skincare routine earlier on in the day. rinse that off. Sweetheart, would you pass me a hand flannel? Oh. The cupboard. I've got to get another clean flannel. I don't like to use my body towel on my face. I don't know. I just, I've always been like that, that face products and things you use on the face should be different from the body. So I've got a clean one just to pat dry a little bit. So yeah, it's really awakening, but for me at the minute, I think because I feel so poorly on an evening, it just gives me that extra boost to kind of keep going uh, for a few more hours before going to bed. So I'm just going to grab the rose. So I use one of these a day. So I use it morning and night and then I will give it a wash. So I'm just going to dampen it down. So it's just a reusable cotton pad. Got my British rose toner. And I've just been talking in the video that I think rose and lemon pair absolutely beautifully together. If you think of that gorgeous kind of Turkish delight, you've got that real kind of zesty coolness from the lemon. And then that real kind of floral, beautiful, delicate fragrance from the rose and it just goes so well together oh, I just my face just feels so much nicer for doing that already so then I'm just gonna finish my cleansing routine just need to get a few bits sweetheart please can you pass me the essence lotion so I'm gonna pop on my essence lotion which is a drops of light and if you guys saw one of my, I think it was my mo cozy morning routine, wasn't it? I spoke about how it lasted me a year. Well, it's literally just running out. So I've got another bottle on the way that should be arriving anytime soon. So I just do like a 
therapist swipe with that just so it doesn't soak into the hands but it disperses it over both hands so you can apply it to the face and then we just let that soak in for a moment but I'm just feeling so so tired that I'm gonna just get on with it as quick as possible I'm gonna bob on the drops of youth concentrate just really soothing and cooling and it feels like silk on the skin and then I should really do a therapist swipe with that but I just kind of mixed it in it's all okay <laughs> oh my goodness are we gonna play Fortnite, Frey? Yeah. I think I need a couple of battles with Freya and then I'm going to bob on I'm gonna do this one first actually so because it's bedtime well not bedtime but I feel like it is bedtime I'm gonna use the drops of you bouncy eye mask I don't think you guys will have ever seen me using this because this is something that I use at night time but it's kind of got that consistency it's really silky but it kind of bounces back it's uh, you know a bit like the cornflower thing what's its actual name for Ooblek. you you talk about Ooblek. Ooblek. yeah it kind of cornflower water yeah it kind of does the Ooblek thing but um do you know I always used to pat around the eyes but this is so silky and then Caroline Hirons, I can't do it, but she teaches like this therapist way of doing it on the eyes. Oh, that feels really nice. I wonder if I'm doing it right. I've watched her do it a few times. I love watching her lives at five o'clock on Instagram. And she does like a skincare routine. And I love it because I don't know, I enjoy watching things like this. And I think I'm always making videos about it. It's quite nice to watch. It's normal for me to watch someone else doing it because it's kind of like my job too. So yeah, I love watching Caroline Hirons lives and yeah, her little way of doing the eyes. I just absolutely love it. And because that is so silky, she always says, who's got time for patting the patting their eyes like this? <laughs> Which is kind of what I've always been taught to do. But I do like the kind of therapist way of doing it as well. So that was the bouncy eye mask and then I'm going to go in with the CBD restoring oil. I love to use this on night time and it's just four drops and it's just really kind of soothing, peaceful. It's kind of perfect for the night time. It's just, oh, it's really nice and I think definitely in winter, not that I'm going out much at all, um, pretty much most of my face is covered up when I do. Uh, especially with my chest, never mind coronavirus with my chest at the minute. I've had to keep my mouth covered up with scarves and masks just so my chest wasn't hurting quite so much. <sighs> Freya, smell that. Oh, that sounds it's really so nice. It's so nice, isn't it? It's like a spa product and it's so pampering and the oil it just feels so so nice so i'm going to finish off as well with the cbd moisturizer so oh it's just so nice it's isn't it really nice. it's so good and i do <laughs> i use far too much than i should literally you meant to use about half the size of that pop it in between your fingers and pat it in and I always end up just using far more than I should but it's years and years and years of having dry skin and feeling the need to put on a lot of moisturiser but you really don't need to but I love to have a little bit excess and just kind of massage it into the decolletage and it just feels so so nice so my shoulder is absolutely aching here at the minute, but the doctor said that that could be from the flu jab because my flu jab is quite sore and normally they don't go bed or anything. Like normally I get them done at the pharmacy and they don't do anything, but my flu, I had that done on Saturday and it's quite, it doesn't hurt, but it's just gone quite, inflamed and she said that could be causing my stiff neck so hopefully it's just that and not another ailment or anything but guys i think i'm gonna end this vlog here and gonna go play some Fortnite with freya who's patiently waiting for me so freya do you want to come and say goodbye to everyone mm -hmm. 
on our very first vlogmas so we are gonna go she's got our xbox onesie on and we are gonna go play some fortnite aren't we and i'm gonna chill out and then tomorrow is a new day so guys i'll see you tomorrow thanks guys bye bye